Hey friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you will learn to write a Java program to check if a given year is a leap year or not. This Java program will accept a year from the user and determine if that year is a leap year or not. I am already in my IntelliJ IDE in which I have created this class leap year program in which I am going to write this Java program. We'll first create the main function now. So for that, I'm going to type PSVM and there you go main function created the first step will be to declare an integer variable which we'll call year so it will be int year there you go integer variable declared this variable year is going to store the year that the program will receive from the user we'll now use the scanner class to write the code to accept the input from the user so first we'll create a scanner class object for which we are going to write scanner and then we'll write sc equals to new scanner okay and uh, let me press option enter because this is going to import the scanner class from the java.util package intellij is so helpful now as its parameter we are going to pass system dot in okay now we are going to use the next int method of the scanner class that will parse the text entered by the user and store it as an integer in this variable year because this is an integer variable. Therefore, we have to store integer inside it. So for that, we are going to write year equals to sc dot next int. Okay. Once the user has entered the input, the program needs to determine if the value stored in the year variable is a leap year or not. To check if a year is a leap year, we should check if it is divisible by 4. If the year is divisible by 4, then it's a leap year, else it's not a leap year. So for that, we are going to write if. Within brackets, we are going to write year, modulo operator 4, comparison operator 0, since there are more checks involved, hence we are going to leave this part for a while and we are going to write the else part. Okay. So if uh, the year, the given year is not divisible by four, hence we need to print that this particular year is not a leap year. So using system.out.println, we are going to print that. So we are going to write year concatenation operator space is not a leap year okay now coming back to this block now a year even though it is divisible by four can be a century year examples of century years are 1900 or 1800 or 2100 We'll have to explicitly check for them as 1900 is divisible by four but it is not a leap year so if it's a century year, then we need to check if that century year is divisible by 400 or not. If it is, then it's a leap year, else it's not. And that's the last check that we need to perform. Thus, we'll first write the code to check if the given year is a century year. How we are going to check that? By dividing it by 100 and checking if the remainder comes out as zero. So in this block, we are going to write if year modulo operator 100 comparison operator 0. Okay, if it's a century year, then one more check is going to happen. And that check will be checking if this particular year is divisible by 400 or not. So within this block, we are going to write that. So it will be if year modulo operator 400 comparison operator 0 and within this if we are going to simply print that the given year is a leap year oh i should have copied and pasted this line of code and should have replaced not with nothing that would have done it now we'll have to write the else part as well so if the year which is a century year is not divisible by 400 then we got to print that this particular year is not a leap year 
so i'm going to write the code for that over here now if a particular year is divisible by four and if it's not a century year then obviously straight away it's a leap year so where we are going to write the code for that over here in the else part of this particular if okay so over here we are going to simply print that the given year is a leap year that's it the program is complete let's run the program and check the output but before that let's print a message over here that is going to prompt us to enter the year okay otherwise it will be a blank screen on the console which is not going to look great actually so let's uh, run this all right the program is asking us to enter the year let me enter 2016 which was a leap year and the program says 2016 is a leap year and uh, another leap year that i remember was 2020 and it says 2020 is a leap year now a century year that was a leap year was the year 2000 so let me enter 2000 and check if it was a leap year and the program says 2000 is a leap year and let me enter 1900 and check if uh, it was a leap year or not 1900 is a century year but it wasn't a leap year there you go the program says that 1900 is not a leap year as you can see the program has successfully tested all the test cases entered and with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video from joey's tech i hope you quoted this program along with me let me know in the comment section if you got any doubts about this program goodbye and take very good care of yourself